Plantain. Greetings, comrades. Hey there, I am the Mighty Plantain. Got Boosh with me. Oh, really had to include him in this one because this is a special beer that somebody yes. picked up for Christmas. Thank you, by the way. You're welcome. For the gift. Um, we've seen Old Rasputin before. It's from North Coast Brewing. Old Rasputin is their Russian Imperial Stout. This one happens to be aged in rye whiskey barrels. Now, you said you found this kind of hiding out in the back somewhere? I found that down at uh, the Damon's in Augusta. And it was... I can't even remember where it was, but it was... <laughs> It was standing. It had a little bit of bit of dust on it, but it was actually on the rack there, in between the uh, the the wall, the beer yeah. wall, the beer cooler wall there, and it was up right on the shelf behind that. As I say, uh, the the labels look a little worn, yeah. but we know this is a good beer. Period. Um, I can't imagine aged in rye whiskey barrels. Oh, contains alcohol. No, really? It says it right on the label. Contains alcohol <laughs> in bold letters. 11.2%. Um, it's definitely a higher one. Um, but yeah, there's not much you can say about Old Rasputin, except it's pretty awesome. Have you actually tried it? The, no. The, rear, the regular Rasputin. Regular one. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to think. I think at Extreme Brew Fest, um, we ran into it aged in something, but definitely not rye oh. whiskey barrels. Okay. Well, it might have been in rum barrels back then. Might have. Well, I'm not seeing a way to pull the foil off easily. So you know what I'm thinking? We're just going to go and... That it's not a twist top. I can't. Oh, well... <laughs> Maybe this is why it was not selling. People didn't want to... Oh, there should be a... Uh, there we go. Yeah, there should be a tab to pull the foil off. Instead, all I'm doing is stripping paint from this bottle over there. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Hang on. No, what? Screw it. I think the bottle opener's had it. Um, it's actually chipping and flaking off the teeth. What the? Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> there. <sighs> All right. I'm a little disappointed. It's a plain silver bottle cap underneath all that <laughs> trouble. <laughs> Yeah, but it's that damn foil that's the pain in the ass. Mm. Here, just give me your bottle. There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then we've gotten our workout for the day. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's such a satisfying sound. Oh, look at that dark brown heavy head on that. That is Is the glass going to take the whole thing? I don't think so. Um, yeah, maybe with less of a head. But let's see. I did want to see what this looks like with a darker beer. <laughs> and um, I don't know. Uh... I don't know if a brighter light is going to help that at all, but I'll certainly look into it. Um, but that is black as midnight, which is exactly is what actually... we were expecting. Oh. It's pretty effervescent. I am seeing some bubbles coming up from the sides, but we got a decent head on that. Nice brown head. Can't tell if it's hazy or anything because there is no light getting through there. Fort Bragg, California. Yeah. Did you manage to get the whole thing in there? Or? Yeah, I get the whole thing in there. Nice. I'll just keep top of mine off. But it feels like there we it are. feels like there's more in the bottle. This bottle's pretty it's heavy. Heavy, yeah. But you you notice though, it has that big. It's probably thick in the. It's got the wine bottle. Um, yeah. There's a name for that little concavity, but I can't. Yes, remember I can't remember it. What they call it. And no, Davis, it's not Bush's ass. <laughs> Oh, 
It's got that imperial smell to it. Just, you know, distinctly heavy stout, a lot of maltiness to it, but there's this slight, like a boozy sour. There is, actually, it almost has a wine flavor uh, note to it. I almost dipped my nose in it. <laughs> wow, that's really... Mm. I can kind of see that. Maybe that, because what I'm getting is, is that you, typical imperial, like almost yeah. sour booziness, but maybe there is a hint of whininess there too. Yeah, there, there is, but it, it's more the, it's not like a fruity wine type. <laughs> uh, it has that, I'll say boozy kind of smell to it. Yeah. It's really all I'm picking up on is that and some heavy malted. Yeah, there's a lot of malt in it. Holy shit, that is creamy and smooth. Mm. It's actually got a lighter mouthfeel than I was expecting. It is very light. I would go with medium overall. But it it has a very... Hmm. Kind of has a heavy aftertaste, actually. Yeah, that booziness that I was expecting does come through, but it fades but not, very quickly. Yeah. And it's not slapping me in the face. It's just kind of there. Like a normal... Like a normal uh, Imperial style would. I don't know. That has a... That has a really nice, smooth flavor. I'm not getting a lot of rye out of that, though. There's a hint of whiskey in the finish. Yes, there is. I think the rye is just kind of blending with the overall graininess of the stout. Because I'm, I'm definitely getting like a heavy... Um, almost like an oatmeal or... Yes. Like a roasted grain flavor. No, I actually... I, I'm getting a little bit of the rye now. Yeah, it seems to take a little while to, to come through. That is a very good beer. And that, that's a very dangerous beer if you... But... In, yeah, in the double digits and going down this smooth and easy. Mm -hmm. I mean... <laughs> well, the only problem is it's in the double digits price-wise. Well, yeah, I was going to say, it's a good thing it's got a, a higher price point, or you could find yourself going through these yes. really quick and being in some serious trouble, and maybe some serious debt, too. Yes. <laughs> no, they were, that that was a very good, good flavor. Oh, it was worth the price for me, I'll tell you that. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was worth it for me, too. I know you enjoyed it, mm. and I'm enjoying it. That is an amazing beer. But I, it's it's kind of evolving a little bit. Every now and then, I'm getting like some toasty notes, some smokiness. Um, I'm almost I'm getting, getting some chocolate now. I'm getting more of the of the rye and the and the, uh, the whiskey mm. part of it. I'm actually getting right a little now. bit of chocolate now. Um, that whiskey flavor is still there in the finish. Yeah. It's not hitting me in the face. Though. There's nothing about this beer that's slapping me in the face. No, there isn't. But it's very well blended. Mm -hmm. And it's very well uh, put forward, really. It's a, it has a it has really outstanding taste. I'm going to give it a five. I'm right there with you. Um, like I said, there's no really particular outstanding flavors. Right. There's nothing that's jumping out at me, but... The fact that it is so smooth, with a lighter mouthfeel, medium overall, I would say, easy to drink, yep. and the flavor is actually evolving as I'm drinking it. Um, which which really is a good good sign of a of a good beer is as you drink it, you get the different flavors mm -hmm. every every time you take a drink, every time you take a sip. So yeah, that is definitely a solid beer. Yes, it is. Thanks again, man. I You're really welcome. Appreciate it. This is. Merry Sweet. Christmas. <laughs> Even though well, it's a little late. But. Yeah, well, we're at least a month after <laughs> Christmas at this point, folks. Um, I don't know when I'm going to post this one, but we'll see. Yep. But uh, there you have it, folks. Old Rasputin, <laughs> Russian Imperial Stout, aged in rye whiskey barrels. I don't know what the 21 under there is. Maybe that's a batch number or something. But uh, an amazing beer, full five out of five from both of us. But that's just our opinion. We welcome yours. <laughs> Fred Nutter from the old Channel 2 editorials. Hit us up down in the comments, the email link down there. Love to hear what you have to say about this beer. 
while you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for tuning in. Cheers. Keep drinking. As I say, you're not guzzling that one. No. It ain't happening. <laughs> no. Very good beer. That was amazing, man.